So hello and welcome to Crafty Doctor's YouTube channel. So if you have an Elgato Stream Deck and also if you are running the Elgato 4K 60 Pro, you will realize that uh, using the preset buttons on the Stream Deck to control the 4K uh, game capture software has been an issue. Elgato finally got round to releasing a piece of software that works with the Stream Deck and the 4K capture utility. So if that's something you're trying to do, please do carry on watching this video. So what is the issue? If you are running an Elgato non-4K capture card, then this isn't an issue. You can use the Stream Deck and the Game Capture presets uh, that I'm showing now in the video. So if you drag one across and you've got a non-4K, it will work just fine. But as you can see, uh, with the 4K capture utility open and the Stream Deck connected, it brings up a box that says please launch game capture so it doesn't recognize the capture utility as a software in stream deck so we need to get the stream deck to start to talk to the capture utility so we can use some of the presets like um, the scene the record screenshot flashback recording and so on so as of august 2019 elgato have finally got around to releasing a app or a plugin for the Stream Deck software. So that's what we're gonna be uh, looking and adding in and just quickly showing you how to use it uh, and how to set up the profiles in the Stream Deck to control the 4K capture utility by Elgato. So as you can see on the screen, as I drag the standard game capture sort of presets uh, into the layout panel in the middle so i'm just dragging the screenshot one in it still gives me the same error the please launch game catcher and that's always the same uh, and it has been like that for a while uh, you're sure you can use obs to do uh, different things and you probably are using obs if you're a game streamer almost certainly um but the 4k default 4k catch utility software you'd expect that really to be doing more things so if you're in mid game not streaming but wanting to capture something uh, you want to be able to quickly push the um the stream deck and maybe take a flashback recording or start recording or maybe just take a, a screen grab or something like that and that's where this comes in useful uh, so we're going to add it uh, into the stream deck by going into the more actions tab okay so in the bottom right hand corner of your stream deck software you'll see where it says more actions click on that and then scroll right to the bottom uh, and then you should see the 4K capture utility as you can see there. Now I have already installed it, um, so it's asking me to uninstall. Uh, obviously you just click on the install button, let it do its thing, let it download it and install the app or plugin into the Stream Deck uh, and then we should be good to go. Uh, you can at this point uh, create a new po uh, profile or edit a profile if you've got some already set up, um, for example 4K capture or something like that. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it on the default one uh, and then you scroll right to the bottom of the screen in the stream deck and you'll see uh, lo and behold you have your 4k capture utility and from here you can drag uh, the different presets across so as I uh, drag across the record button you can see straight away I don't have the error message now that uh, asked me to uh, please launch the game capture because it now recognizes it uh, and if you're used to using the stream deck software you'll know that you can change the text and change where it's laid uh, lays out on the button layout but really it shouldn't have taken elgato this long to get their software uh, 4k capture utility software to work with uh, their hardware the stream deck uh, should have worked from default it hasn't done and it's taken up to august uh, 2019 to get this to work so you can, you can see I'm just uh, naming the flashback one there um, and like I said, you can change the text and stuff. Uh, but I will just add the screenshot one in just to show you how it works. So I'll put the screenshot one in, I will give it a title, so I'll call it grab. Um, and then when I've done that, I'll just push the button on the actual stream deck and you'll see in the top left hand corner, I should say that it's saved the screenshot and that's just proving that the stream deck is talking to the capture utility. Uh, so yeah, so I push the button and there you go, screenshot stored to the Elgato screenshot. Uh, and that's it, that's how to get your Stream Deck talking to the 4K capture utility and how to use the Stream Deck software um, plugins and buttons um, with the 4K Elgato capture utility software. So I really hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please do hit the thumbs up button please do subscribe to my channel and um, by all means hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new uploads i do and thanks for watching at crafty doctor on youtube